Welcome back to my channel. It's time again to try another recipe. This time it's going to be shrimp and chorizo paella with peas and bell pepper and garlic aioli by Hello Fresh. This is going to be my first recipe trying by uh, Hello Fresh, so I'm really excited. Um, it looks quite delicious. So, okay, so here are all my ingredients. This seafood, broth concentrate, amburicho rice, turmeric, smoked paprika. We have the white shrimp, the chorizo, bell pepper, the garlic, and the peas. All right, so I'm going to get started with the prep work. Okay, so I already have my ingredients prepped here. Fresh ingredients. I have my chorizo there, chopped, minced the garlic clove, thinly sliced the red bell peppers, and now I am heating up some olive oil. So let's see. So it's going to be cooked bell pepper and chorizo. Heat a drizzle of olive oil in a large pan of a medium high heat. Add bell pepper and chorizo. Cook, stirring occasionally until bell pepper is slightly softened and chorizo is lightly browned. Two to three minutes. Okay. Actually, I thought it was going to be super hard. I was like, oh my gosh, it's such a complicated... Yeah. <laughs> but the more I get into it, I'm starting to realize that it really isn't. So... It's not hard at that, all. It's not really that many ingredients. Yeah, it's not Got that the many. bell peppers, the garlic, the chorizo, peas... The shrimp, which I already rinsed off and pat patted dry. And let's see, yeah. And let's then the abarusha rice and the seasonings. And the seasonings. Mm -hmm. no, and the seasonings. mayo thing is just, uh, well, and of course. The yeah, the mayo. Broth, <laughs> seafood broth. But yeah, super simple actually. Seafood broth. Okay. Yeah, seafood broth. All right. So I already got my um, chorizo and the red bell peppers in here. Should be about two to three minutes. I just wanted to add though, chorizo. It's my first time cooking with chorizo. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even yeah, know if yeah. I'm saying that correctly, but yeah. And it, it basically reminds me of like oh. beef jerky or something like that. It's like seafood. Yeah, I did taste a little bit of it. I had to <laughs> before adding it with other ingredients and having the other ingredients. You know, change the flavoring of it. I wanted to get an yeah, accurate taste. Like the one to get yeah, that's what it reminds eight. me of. It's super hard to. So, There's you know. Two, because but yeah, okay. Two, three, four. And I also want to add that the chorizo is greasy. Look at that. That's pretty much yeah, that's from, the, from the chorizo, that like grease there. <laughs> no, that's the worst. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. You know, trying recipes, but also learning new ingredients. Awesome. Okay, so it's time to add the abaricio rice, mix it in together, and also half of the garlic. Okay. Okay, and now let's see what it says to do. Okay, huh? then you'll use the rest. Of the, okay, so half of the uh, yeah. seasoning. All right, so I put in half of the packet of the smoked paprika and half of the packet of the turmeric. Okay. All right. Okay, and then it says to cook it down, the seasonings, until it gets fragment. Yep, I think I smell turmeric. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to be adding three cups of water and the broth and some salt. Any pepper? Nope, it doesn't suggest pepper. And there we have it. I put the three cups of water, the two little packets of the seafood broth concentrate. I put about, oh, let's say, I did a few sprinkles there of salt. Okay, so now bring to a boil and cook stirring occasionally until liquid has evaporated and rice is tender so about 15 20 minutes it says to tip add a splash of water if liquid evaporates before rice is fully cooked all right okay so while i wait for that to come to a boil it looks like it had a little time there oh no i see it happening a little bit there all right so anyhow 
Um, I'm going to jump on step four, which is to make the garlic aioli, which is super simple. It says here in a small bowl, just combine the mayonnaise, a pinch of the remaining garlic to taste, stir in a teaspoon of water, and season with salt and pepper. Simple enough. All right, so I have here my, it's already boiling here, so just occasionally stirring. It smells amazing. It smells like, like a gumbo or something. <laughs> yeah, it See, I don't know like why the word something. gumbo makes me laugh. My bad. But yeah, it reminds me of gumbo. Five. It's 540. Five forty. You are correct. Five. That's my son. He likes to drop in here and there and say whatever he feels like saying. Hey! Okay, so. So while that, I was able to put the mayonnaise into this little container here. It was like, you know, just in case I have anything left over, um, I can go ahead and store it. But I put the mayo, the pinch of the minced garlic, some salt and pepper, and a teaspoon of water. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that together, combine it really well. And also, um, I started doing this shrimp. You start doing this. I have shrimp. here the shrimp. I went ahead and. Oh, the lighting is terrible right there. Hold on. Alright. You the magic. You and all. So I have here the shrimp. I already added half of the smoked paprika, uh, half of the turmeric, salt, and pepper, and just kind of mixed it in to season it. Yeah. So you can't wait. This is to gonna start. Be, well, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more mixing there. But I am holding the camera. It's so. 5:41. But yeah. So then now that once uh, this that's actually the next step. So 5:41. Now that I have the garlic only basically okay. almost done, so it's time to cook the shrimp. I already have it seasoned there. And it's suggest to do it once the rice is almost done. So. Olive oil in a large pan yeah, on high yeah. heat. Okay, add shrimp, cook, stirring occasionally until cooked three to four minutes. Cool. All right, almost there. All right, it's coming along, right? Yeah. Looking good. Yeah. The water is already starting to absorb there. I'm glad I used this pan. If I would have used that other one, it would have started sticking, I'm assuming. Almost used it. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna start cooking the shrimp now. I think the rice uh, should be done pretty soon. So. All right. It's already seasoned. So let me get going with heating the oil. All right. So I got my shrimp ready to go. I'm heating up the oil here. And this guy here is coming along pretty good. So. I'm make sure to keep on stirring it nicely. This smells really good, actually, so I'm excited. I can't wait to try it. Oh, yes. Looking good. And the peas, I was wondering about that, is going to be added in to finish. So it doesn't really need to cook, cook. You just kind of stir it in once you turn off the heat. Interesting. All right. Okay, so now I have these babies here. Take the pizza. Stirring occasionally for three to four minutes on high heat. They are seasoned real good. Look at that. Gonna, it looks like it's going to be a pretty flavorful dish. So I'm excited. I can't wait to try it. I'm hungry. So, yeah. Okay, maybe too much stirring. Alright. It's 5.50. Alright, so I think this shrimp is done. Yep, it's pretty good there. I have to lower the heat because it is like hot. Getting burned up. <laughs> Almost. And this one had a close call too. The rice already sticking to the bottom. I'm like, good lord. But I turned off the heat. I feel like it is done already. Actually, I tried a little bit and the rice fell al dente, so that is good to go. Now I'm going to stir in the peas. Peas. Mm -hmm. 
pee left in there. No pee left behind. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and get that mixed together. Here is the finished product. All right, so after the rice is done, it just happens all so fast. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's like done all together. All right, so there you go, man. That looks really, really good. And um, this is the way they want you to serve directly from the pan for family style paella experience, it says. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get that in a bowl, taste that, and I will let you know how it is. So here it is on my plate. It looks good. Okay, I haven't tried it yet, but I wanted to see it served. It smells amazing. Okay, let me go in. Well, well. Let me finish showing. I am pleasantly surprised. This is definitely really, really good. Lovely combination. I love it. Thumbs up. Okay, good job. Hello, fresh. That was a really good recipe.